healthcare is one of the most conservative cultures when it comes to adopting new technologies. And in many respects, medical professions lag some distance behind the outside world, especially when it comes to mobile devices. Dr. Arpad Bischoff, a radiologist, noticed the absence of smart technology in his specialty and wondered why. Building on experience acquired in his other role, that of Chief Executive of Image Information Systems, a global provider of solutions for picture archiving and communication systems, or PACs, Dr. Bischoff made it his business to design and develop a new kind of smart device, a complete portable workstation for medical image reading in the form of a tablet computer. Dr. Bischoff tells the story this way. We've worked according to the DICOM standard. We developed a so-called application-specific integrated circuit doing this kind of calibration. We patented it and implemented that into a tablet computer. A medical tool has different requirements, like it needs to be secure, it needs to be fast. According to German regulations, a medical uh, display needs to have a diagonal size of at least 13 inch. Medical display requirements are different from country to country, but they are very similar. Typical requirements are that you need a homogeneous visualization. Consumer displays come with a deviation of more than 50%, but medical displays need to be homogeneous. There should be a so-called minimum pixel size. So pixels should have a minimum size in order to have a good angle for our human eye to see it. The grayscale calibration should deviate maximum 10% to the proper linear curve. So our MedTab reaches plus minus 5%, while consumer displays usually exceed that curve by more than 50%. MedTab can be operated in two different modes. In a color mode, which is optimized for color visualization, and a DICOM mode, which is optimized for grayscale images. The MedTab can always be used anywhere, anywhere where you have sufficient ambient light conditions. But it's really challenging for the human eye to determine whether the ambient light is okay or too bright. That's why we've built an, an ambient light sensor, which gives like a traffic light to visualize whether the ambient light is okay, limited or not acceptable for any image visualization. The finger measurement is not accurate, so we developed a special pen with a translucent tip and using that tip you can do the measurements on screen in a precise way. One of the first doctors to use the MedTab in a clinical setting was Professor Vogt, Head of Medical Imaging in the UKSH Lübeck, the third largest university hospital in Germany. We met the professor in his department. He took a few minutes out of his busy schedule to speak to us. We do believe that the devices that we use right now are inadequate uh, because um, they do not provide uh, all the uh, opportunities that we need for professional reading. And you can use it, uh, this device, uh, um, as well as uh, for the uh, on-call uh, imaging uh, and uh, second opinion look, but you can also imagine uh, to use this device, uh, for example, for bedside imaging on ward rounds or at the emergency department. And another option might be some remote assessment of imaging and a remote peer review, for example. Portable devices will come and bring up a new exciting feature to the market because we need them definitely. We need devices that are DICOM enabled because this is a specific question for us to see these images with a special grayscales. And therefore, we do believe that these devices will come up within the next few years a lot. Doctors have a high workload and uh, doctors want everything immediately ready. So we've developed a separate software which prefetches images to the MedTab. So if a MedTab is close to a wireless LAN, it checks in the background whether there are images available. So it preloads those images. When the doctor logs in to the MedTab, it will seamlessly encrypt those images and make it available for the doctor within milliseconds. 
We've developed a separate software for the METAP, which enables the METAP to a full diagnostic workstation. So you can do center, window, zoom, pan, measurements, multiplinar reconstructions, even 3D imaging. In 1977, Gates and Allen predicted a computer on every desk and in every home. In 2016, Dr. Arpad Bishop is predicting a diagnostic workstation in the hands of every doctor. I hope that Meta will change the world. When we look back to the past, who owned a smartphone or a tablet computer 20 years ago? And now, almost every medical doctor owns a smartphone. 70% of medical doctors own a tablet. In a few years, probably everybody. I strongly believe that in a few years, every doctor will own a MedTab.